the shiny people. Everybody seems to always write about them, and they have many names, legends, and great many songs. They live life in such a way that each new day adds to the coherent whole that they have already lived. That means each day makes them more as they are traveling through a life of wisdom, where wisdom can only beget more wisdom, and they are proper adult and perfectly human. Jane Lovinger, in her stages of ego development, describes people who can improve themselves and mend their shortcomings. In the quest for self-improvement, these individuals appreciate wisdom, greatness, and those who rise. They see things more broadly. People aren't just their labels to them. And it is not just about the outcomes of situations, but the intent that created them. With self-improvement, wisdom, and a more detailed perception of others, they see that they are creating their own future, and they aim to do meaningful things in it, perhaps create lasting contributions. Slowly they grow away from groups and whatever they may provide, and grow to become rare lovely and unique individuals whose company is precious. Here they independently reinvent a great wisdom and they go from using tools for thinking to creating new tools for thinking. They carry on learning to no end, gaining a greater and greater understanding of the world, its structure and its people, enough so to navigate it with cheerfulness and courage. They may aim to help the world grow, or to teach or to try to understand all the parts that weren't really designed on purpose, but just emerged out of the chaos and complexity of all the human things. I think here people consider changing rules of the world to help all people grow all the way up without being held back by anything at all. Moving beyond embracing others' individuality, their thoughts turn to seeing humanity and how we can all reshape the future. In my opinion, the world can easily improve by simply making education more realistic, more profound for all its people. It is not enough to recognize individuality of a person as they carry on with their life in general. We have to recognize that they can't interface with standardized education because there is nothing standard about any human being, be it an adult or child, to improve the world and keep it that way, is to recognize that each student is unique, and to teach for real is to guide young people towards the greatness that Miss Lovinger describes here. To make schools work for real, each lesson that we teach must be more beautiful and more profound than the previous. 